Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing this eye look using the Too Faced Cat Eyes. So if you want to see how I got this eye look using Tiger Eye, Pussycat, Jungle Love, and a bit of Panther, and some Meow, stay tuned. I did like using this um, Too Faced Cat Eye Collection. When I looked at the colors, um, I really liked them. I loved how Pussycat stood out. I really, really liked the fact that Jungle Love was purple, almost black. That was fun. This Tiger Eye is absolutely stunning. Um, I almost went to the leopard, but I do a lot with brown, so I really wanted to try to just stay right here in, in this little, almost looks, I wanted to stay right here in these colors and a bit of um, the meow. So these did not have a lot of fallout. I enjoyed that, and considering how bright and dark I these colors were, I was concerned in the beginning that I was going to have some fallout and some major cleanup, and I didn't. So this Too Faced little palette, I really, really liked. Now, I did use um, some of my favorite Makeup Geek bits, um, and I'm trying not to get, there we go. So I used some of my favorite Makeup Geek bits. I used the contour. I used some highlight. And I did take her highlighters and I stuck them in a dual-sided Z palette. And I used a bit of her blushes. So um, that basically created the whole look and a little bit of MAC on my lips. All of the products that I used today, whether it was Too Faced, uh, Makeup Geek, or MAC, absolutely fantastic. Everything went on wonderfully, didn't have a lot of cleanup, didn't have things shifting and falling, and I did follow it up at the end with some Scandinavia makeup spray, but that wasn't on camera. So I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial slash review. Have a great day. Let's get started with Too Faced Cat Eyes. Oh, it's going to be one of those days. I'm already cracking myself up. All right, we're going to start with Meow. Next, we're going to go in with Tiger's Eye. I miss my husband. I cannot make coffee to save my life. This stuff is horrible. One would think that something as simple as making coffee would be easy. Hmm. Not in this household. Well, this is an awfully big fluffy brush. Obviously I've got to clean my other brushes. We're going to go in with some Pussycat, which is this nice purpley pink. Orchid. I'm trying to think of some other colors to describe that. And words are failing me about as good as my coffee making skills. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to take a large fluffy brush and just kind of blend those. Next, we're going to take a little Jungle Love, which is this purpley color here. I'm going to use some Beauty Bakery, and this one is called Sugar Coated Ice Cream. We're going to pop that on the inner water line. And that's just giving it a nice lilac kind of inner water line. It's very light and subtle, which is not like how I normally do makeup. I'm not light or subtle. <laughs> So many jokes, so little time. All right, we're gonna go back in with the Pussycat. 
we're going to do the lower lash line. Okay, so our lash line is nice and lilac. <laughs> okay, I'm cracking myself up way too much this morning. I'm going to use an angled brush with um, this Panther, which is a black. I use my new favorite Sephora waterproof co uh, color wink it felt liner. I blend those two together and then I'm letting the jungle love take over as far as the rest of the color on the eyelid. I'm going to take a little bit more of that jungle love. I've got talkative shih tzus this morning. They're probably telling me that my jokes are not as funny as I think they are. And when I started, I already had started. Um, I put foundation on. I put um, my painterly paint pot on. And I started with my contour. And then decided I was going to stop because I was going to use some purples and possibly black shock. And I didn't want it to go down my face. So now we're going to do some cleanup. Um, and I'm going to use some Tarte Shape Tape. some highlight. We already worked a little bit on the contour and I know I'm bouncing all over the place. So while that's drying I'm gonna go in with my Lash Sensational in Waterproof for my bottom lashes and in Amy fashion we got a dot. Alright we're gonna do the top lashes with the Lash Sensational I'm actually going to use a more neutral um, blush today. This one's from Makeup Geek and it is Infatuation. Alright, so we got a nice peach to offset the bright magenta eye. We are going to use this Makeup Geek highlighter here that is a lilac. Ooh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> so we are still going to use a little bit of that lilac on the cheek. And if you haven't had a chance to try Makeup Geek highlighters, you're missing out. You are missing out. Okay, so I'm going to keep the peachy vibe going with the lip or the nude. And this is a nude pencil by Maybelline.
And we are going to top that with some Giggle Fest from MAC, which I bought these little caps because I could not stand the fact that I couldn't see the lipstick. I think I got these on Amazon. So now I have my MAC in front of me and I know what colors they are. So now we have our nude Giggle Fest lip. Okay, so I'm going to go do my hair. Um, not much, but I will do something with this hot mess. And I will be right back. Thank you so much for watching as I did this eye look using the Too Faced Cat Eyes. And of course, I used my favorite Makeup Geek. Um, so between the two Too Faced and Makeup Geek, I got this, uh, this look. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. And as always, make it a beautiful day.